Hello everyone. It's day five and an entire work week has passed. Even though we're already on day five, I think all good things should end with three. Which is exactly why we will have drum rolls perspective again. Yeah, this time it's three point perspective. And I know, I know, you probably had enough perspective for the entire month. So you can feel assured because we will call quits after three point perspective. There of course are other kinds of perspectives you can learn, but that's as far as I'm willing to push it onto beginners. Because I'm not gonna lie, three point perspective is hard. So let's just get straight to explaining. And I won't go over the basics of perspective again, since these are covered in the previous days and it would take far too long. In three point perspective, just like the name implies, you have three vanishing points instead of one or two. And since you can only see a total of three planes on a box shape, you probably know where this is going. All three planes, if your box doesn't go over the horizon line or over a vanishing point that is, are each influenced by two vanishing points. That means if you draw a box shape, you will never ever have a line that doesn't go directly to a vanishing point. If you draw your shapes over the horizon line or over a vanishing point or even both, you will see two or just one plane of it. A good example of this is if you're standing in front of a large building looking at the front wall. That's when you have three point perspective and one vanishing point is behind the building and the horizon line is in the middle of it. So you only see one plane of the box. However, in any case it stays true that if you draw a box shape, you will never have a line that does not go to a vanishing point. Only when we introduce complicated shapes like pyramids or spheres, this rule will be broken. Don't stress yourself though, if you have a hard time drawing three-point perspective, especially if you're at the beginning of your drawing journey. Three-point perspective is quite advanced stuff, so don't sweat it if it's hard to understand, and use as much guidelines as you need. Also, you should know that this example of three-point perspective, where every vanishing point is inside the canvas, is a pretty unlikely scenario to just draw without desperately trying to show perspective. Most of the time, you have at least one vanishing point outside of your canvas. Here's a little helper on which lines connect to which vanishing points. And notice that the planes facing the vanishing point and their opposites are never influenced by the actual vanishing point they are facing. That's just a little helper if you're lost in all the guidelines. That's it for the basics. I hope you all do well, because spoiler alert, tomorrow's lesson will be a wild card lesson. Yep, every sixth day will be a wild card. And after that, the basic subject of the fundamentals will change. So stay tuned.